Hello guys. Now I'm going to show you how to call an RMI with a GUI. This frame checks whether the user is a valid user or not. And this is the client. And this invokes a method from the server to check whether the user is valid. Let us check it. I press the login button, it invokes a method from the server and says whether the user is valid or not. I just change the password. It says an invalid user. I'm using Oracle database backend and the server checks the user ID and password in my database. And returns the client whether the user is a valid user or not. Now I'll show you how to create a GUI and invoke the method from the server. In my previous video, I have already shown you how to create an interface, server, and a client for an RMI. I'm using the same project for this video. First, we have to create an interface. Create a new interface. I will name it as blog. That's it. Now interface is ready. The same process extend remote. I have already explained this process in my previous video. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to use the interface which returns uh, boolean type for me. public boolean check user it takes two parameters one is user id and uh, other is a password string id cross remote exception sixteen ports and the interface is ready now. Let us create the server now. Open the server project, create a new Java class. I will name it as log server. And the server extends the unique cache remote object and implements my interface, which is log. Create the default constructor. And the NetBeans ID takes care of all the things. Whereas I didn't rebuild my library, which I already added here. Automate job. I have changed the content in the automate project, it's automatically updated here so that I don't need to add the job file again. Let us write the code here. Return. Let's create a try catch block. As I said earlier, 
I'm going to use Oracle database for that create the connection system. So for name Oracle dot ADBC dot Oracle driver. This need to be enclosed in a double quote. For Oracle, we have to for Oracle using Oracle database, we have to add a library, add a job file, which is for JDBC. Let us add it. Here it is. Now create the connection driver manager dot get connection. Here we have to specify the URL. In the other video, I have shown you. And additionally, how to connect the Oracle database with NetBeans. Refer my video for further videos and copy the database URL. Here specify here, and here you have to specify your user ID, followed by your password. That's it. Now we have to write the code for checking the user ID and password. First, create Oracle to press this. Run dot prepare statement SQL. Before that, write the coding. Think SQL select asterisk scram login where a table name or I have to verify a picture attribute name. This login, this ID and password form, ID and password. This need to be captured. Now set the string. ID. And the second string as pop. The ID and password are passed from the client. Now create a result set. Listed dot. Execute query, and this is need to be type tested. If the query returns the data, return key. If this will return false, and we have created the method. Now let us create register. Now um, let us create the registry for our server.
फिर ट्राई कर लॉक get the registry wait equal to locate registry dot create registry and so with the port number here 1099 60 imports rebind the server and i will specify the server name as log server New log. That's it. The server is ready now. For a reference, yes, right. Server open. Run. Server is ready. Now let us run the server to see whether the server is working right without errors. And of course, the server is ready. Now let us create the claim. 